Welcome to Online Intro to Health Science. I am Mrs. Jones, your teacher for the year. This is a full year course. It will cover um, either one full CTE credit or a half um, health credit, half CTE credit. So you can figure out what you need um, for graduation and put it wherever you need to. So Intro to Health Science is a really fun course. We will go through um, the different main, the 11 body systems, so digestive and nervous system and skeletal and muscular, all those, so 11 different body systems. We will dis, um, discuss the diseases and disorders that go with each and then careers um, that can fall along with each lines also. Um, it's really fun, it's great, it's very interactive. Um, in the classroom, it's a lot of hands-on, so we're gonna have to figure out how you can do this at home um, and get the same experience um, out of it. Um, we do have lots of models and things that you can put together. So, so it's, gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to figure out how to do this at home too so that you can um, learn it and go over the things um, without physically being here in the classroom with us, but we can do this. Um, I just wanna go through a quick uh, few welcome uh, introduction stuff of things what to expect from an online classroom from me and what I expect from you. So to get started, I just want to tell you I am so excited to be teaching again. Um, this is my fourth year teaching and I really think I am more excited to teach this year than I was my first year. So um, I think that break and having to do distance learning last year um, it just, I, I didn't enjoy it. It was really hard. I didn't have the tools to, um, that I felt necessary to reach um, students at home and online. But I am so excited because um, we've gone through tons of training and I just really feel like I'm so much better uh, at reaching you students at home and how to do this so that we can make it a wonderful experience for both of us. Um, your success is my success, so I am here to make sure that you um, understand what is asked of you so that you will do um, the assignments correctly and in that process learn, okay? So I am here for you. I wanna help you in any way possible. If you're feeling lost or confused, please just shoot an email or um, when we get on our Google Meet, speak up, okay? Because um, it's a little different here in the classroom where I can see faces and I can understand or kind of tell if somebody's lost or not getting it. So the, the only way I will know that you're not getting it is if you tell me, okay? So let's make sure you, you know that I am here for you, okay? Um, the online course will be as similar as I can to the in-class instruction. I'm going to give you guys the same assignments, um, the same guided notes, um, the same videos to watch, okay, the same reviews. So we're going to really try to, to stick with as similar as possible. There are some things you just can't get at home that, that um, we'll do here, but don't worry about that because um, you can still, we'll still make it work. And Participation is 10% of your grade. So I do need you to participate. Uh, my health science days are going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, my online health science, okay? So those are the days from 145 to 245 that's set aside for you guys. I'm gonna share that time with the medical terminology. So I'm gonna have you guys from, from 145 to 215 and then I'll have med term from 2.15 to 2.45, okay? So during those days on Tuesdays and Thursdays, that is when I will have an open Google Meet and you jump on and ask me any questions that you have. Um, I might go through some clarifying concepts at that time if I notice um, either some of my, a lot of my online, online kids had questions or even in person, if I realized that they struggled through something, I'll probably specifically go over that instruction again in my Google Meet with you. So if you can jump on, even if it's just for five or 10 minutes and say, I'm good, I don't have any questions at all, everything's good, okay? That's great. I want to see your face at least once a week, okay? So sometime between 145 and 215 on Tuesday and Thursday, um, jump on to make sure I know you are there and physically 
part of our class and doing what you need to do and have no questions asked, okay? And then this is good for me too because then I can go back to parents and I can say, they came on on this day and said they have no questions, okay? So then you can't go to mom or dad and say, I don't know what to do, right? Okay, so it saves us both a whole lot of hassle. And in the meantime, you get to learn, right? That's why you're here. Um, so my schedule has changed. I am teaching every single day and I am in my classroom from um, 7.55 when the bell rings until 1.45 um, in class instruction and stuff. So my time then for you is 1.45 to 2.15 Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? I will be recording instruction for one of my health science classes. I'm teaching two in-class sessions this year. So I'll record one of them and I'll put them on for you to be able to watch. I will also put on the, um, the PowerPoints that I use. And so you'll have access to that um, and you can go through it, go through your guided notes if you missed anything um, in, the, in the regular instruction or whatever, okay? And then you can even go just through the PowerPoints if, if you rather are, are better a learner at just looking at those PowerPoints and doing it rather than me speaking through the PowerPoints and explaining things. Great. Go ahead. It's there for you. So you'll have access to all of that. Um, I do expect you to keep a binder with all of your assignments and guided notes and you will Thank me for this, especially at the end of the year when we go to take the test. So there is a state test at the end of the year where you can receive a skill certificate. If you can prove 80%, if you can pass that test with 80%, um, then you get a skill certificate. And I've had great success with students before. We didn't take the test last year, uh, but the year before that, um, I had... 40% um, of my students passed the test with 80% with or higher, which was really a, a great average. So this is how they did it, okay? They kept a binder like this. It's just a one-inch uh, binder, like three-prong three binder, okay? And this is what they kept, all their guided notes in and, um, and anything I passed back, test, whatever, everything right in here, okay? And then at the end of the year, it was so easy to go back and review and to be ready for that state test, okay? Um, once, a, once a unit, so when we, we're going to take a unit test, and during that unit test, you'll bring your binder in. We'll make arrangements for you to come into the school to actually test. And I'll probably open that up for like a week whenever it's the, the testing week. And somehow you, you'll need to get in here to test between that 145 to 245 time, um, probably twice, maybe three times a quarter. Okay, so I, I, I do the big unit test usually for like the skeletal unit has a whole test. The muscular unit will have a test. Um, I combine some of the other smaller ones, nervous and sensory together. So um, it ends up would be two to three times a unit or, or a, a quarter where you'll come in and take your test and then I'll actually grade your binder too and make sure all your notes are in there and everything and the assignments are all caught up okay um, but don't worry we'll make that as convenient as possible for you um, but that is the time set aside for online online students uh, let's see here okay I will have all of your assignments on canvas under online students only so in canvas it, it bunches all of my health science students together. So I have my two classes that are in person and my online students. And at this point, I only have five online students. Okay, so this is cool because then I really get to do some one on one with you, which will be really, really good for you, I think, because you can get way more personal um, help than than in the class. Right. So it'll say online students only. Um, in the module module under health science so you'll click into health science and then online students only that's where you'll click and look under and I will put everything in there um, for your access okay so when it comes to doing assignments um, that's that's where we'll be doing our in our communication we can be doing it there okay um, don't worry about your grade on Canvas. If you turn an assignment in on Canvas and the grade 
doesn't get quite checked or checked off there, follow Aspire for your grading, okay? So it's just, I found Canvas complicated with the grading and then having to take down that score and then go back into Aspire and then enter that Canvas score into Aspire, okay? So I just have sheets where I will keep your um, name and then assignments up here to the side and then I'll give your I'll put your scores in this in the lines and this is what I will take then from this is my notes from canvas and I put them into aspire okay so don't worry if you go into canvas and it says it still says I'm missing an assignment go to aspire if, if, if you've got the assignment listed in aspire with a grade it's there okay so that's that's the thing that counts your grades in canvas don't mean anything it's this spire grade that that means something okay if you are needing a physical copy of the guided notes or assignments or anything that we do i can have a physical packet ready for you at the front office so that just email me and say um, i can't print this off at home can you make sure i have all my stuff so um, I'll put those together in groups of at least at least weekly. I'll try to do it a whole unit together, um, work ahead that much to have the, all those copies made so that you can have a physical copy picked up from the school. Otherwise, every assignment will be linked on Canvas where you can print out a physical copy at home, okay, on a printer that you might have at home. So um, again, just email me and let me know. I'll get those packets set up at the front office for you. And then your first assignment, um, it's actually threefold, okay? So you'll have your disclosure, and it's the same disclosure that I use for the classroom, just so that you know the, the, the procedures. I mean, there's some procedures where it comes to, like, leaving class or whatever, but we're not even doing hall passes this first um, quarter, so don't even worry about that. So, But it talks about, like, their grading procedures, and, um, like, if you miss a test or make up a test, again, that's something – different for you guys because you're making special arrangements to come in for those tests so just so that you you know like what's expected to if you were to transition back in the classroom that disclosure has already been covered um, and signed so the disclosure then there's a lab safety contract we do do some dissections uh, that are really fun and if you don't want to come in to do those dissections with the large group, um, you know, will in invite you to do that. If you don't want to do that, you can come in after school. We'll make arrangements on those weeks where we can do it between that 145 and um, 245 time, okay, so that you can still be part of those dissections and get that experience, that hands-on um, without being in the huge the huge group, okay? Oh, sorry. Allergies. Um, and then the last thing is the sex education form. Um, it's the Utah State Board of Education Sex Education Form. Um, we will talk about human anatomy, so parts, and that is at the very last, um, the last of the year, so like in May, we'll, we'll get into that. We do talk about some diseases, STDs and such, um, HIV, AIDS, um, so that, that form is all ready for you guys to, um, to mark off. If your parents don't want you to have any discussion like that at all, again, I do not, that's, that's all it is. And as a matter of fact, our reproductive unit is two days, two days and we're done. So <laughs> we just, we just hit what we need to, what we have to, and that's it. So, um, if they have any questions about that, have them contact me and ask me, but, um, we we don't we don't go into much detail and then um that's it so those are worth 15 points each those three signed forms that need to be turned in and how you guys are going to turn them in is you're going to take a photo of them of the signed picture and then email it back to me and i'll put your 15 points right in um i'll print off or keep a, a file of your um of your photo of, of the the signed sheet from your parents and I'll keep that on file. So we've got it. So um, that was really all I wanted to cover for our welcome video. I'll be doing, probably putting on a video like this at least once a week, okay? And then I'll be putting on the instruction video that we take during class time, just during the instruction time, um, and put it on. 
and um, hopefully uh, you guys, I really want to make sure that my online kids are taken care of and are just, um, I, I hope, I, I really hope you can prove that doing online and, and working at home at your own pace um, works because I'd love to be able to say my online kids are rocking it. Okay. So prove, help me prove people wrong that you, you kiddos at home can do this better than the kids here in the classroom. So Hey, I'm excited to be teaching you. And again, any questions at all, please contact me. I am here for you. And this is going to be an awesome year.